All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back. Let's go pay off this bounty and see what else we can get up to. Hello again. Greetings, greetings. What are you in the market for? Uh, actually, you know what? Food. Fried catfish, cracked wheat, and milk. I need some food. Can I get a meal? You doing all right? Uh, don't feel too good. That's too bad. Good evening. Gentlemen. Good morning to you. How do you do, sir? Everything okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, good luck to you. See you soon. Excuse me, madam. Okay, come on. Don't don't jam up the. There we go. Seems like this place is warm. Thank you for your help. Uh, hey there, partner. Hey, hey sir. Good morning. Are you back for more hell raising? Hey, right, what are you talking Just about? Just passing through. Don't want no problem. Mm. I haven't raised any hell. Not here, at least. Oh, that's right, I gotta stop by the gun store. Over here! Hey. Wait, what? No! Please don't go! Wait, what? Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. <laughs> Wait, please. He captured another person? It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. Oh no, it's the same kid. Oh my god. You Again? Do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. I'll have my eyes on you every second you're in here. Dude, Thief. what do you Alright, what do you want? Hold on. <laughs> sure. Don't go greasing up the pages, though. Shut up. All right. Um. What's it? Pump action shotgun. That must be new. But I already got something better than it, so. Do I want to spend a bunch of money on stuff here first? Nah. Let's just get these. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? Alright, so now... Now I've got some upgraded stuff. Oh, I'm real excited can we, can we have a conversation, sir? I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Open well, I the basement. Be judge of that. Open it now. All right, all right. Again? I got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. You tried that Such same trick you know, last you can time. Come back after he wakes up. Should I just kill you? You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. No, the chains. Shoot the chains. Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry. Son. Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I ain't sticking around for this. That's enough. Are you and your shit? Turned into a bad day for you, Mister. It was all perfect, and you ruined it. This is uh, very kind of you. Oh, that sucks. Like, I know what happened, but dude. And this is still there. K 
Can we rob him again? How much cash did I get? Kind of not worth looking after because I didn't know how much I had in the first place. Hello, sir. I would Hello, like to give Ian. you fifty dollars. Good lord, Great it Scott. can't be worth it. That's you turned over a new leaf, I'm sure. Yeah, Thanks yeah. Your assistance. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Don't shoot me. I don't want another bounty. Let's go over and see uh, Romeo over there. Of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. Now, I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. <laughs> Yeah, but you, man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Well, all right. Have a good one now. Past. Haven't seen anybody named Gavin before. I'm sorry, my friend. What the hell was that? Official business for the family. All right, come on. Thank you. Right here by the stables. <laughs> Cleaning your horse, Bo. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. 
progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Oh boy, things could get ugly. All right, lead the way, Bo. Right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. I'm right here. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. I suppose she invited you to come, and that's why you know. Um, if we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. All right. Mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters, we cook the food and we now, fetch now. the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Banker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Well, this is the only speed I can go. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Mrs. Calhoun, maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it, but I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. There's only one road. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. Well, I'm quite familiar. Yeah, pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Come on!
and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, oh that's what we're doing. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Come on, boy. Let's get you out of here before they start shooting. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but it's kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's <laughs> He's down, right. The sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and... Penelope said, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is, this is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her, I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. I don't think he's quite as bad as I'd imagine, but you know, probably still bad. Who is this A? And where is it? Oh, over here. Oh, Abigail. What's she need from me? Yep. Okay, there's no uh, no excl explanation on there, so we'll do just fine going to see her. Eleven thirty. Yep, this is an ambush. Hold on there. A minute of your time. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. It's that no good who took him. Leave 
Leave me alone. Yeah. That's enough. Mine Raider pieces of shit. straight in the face. I didn't, wouldn't have thought that would have did too much damage to the uh, health. Alright, hey, yeah. we'll donate this to Pearson and See what Abigail wants. John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Sometimes I think about the old days. Seems a lifetime ago. Sure does. All right, let's uh go see what Jose needs. Yep, yep. Oh, oh he's actually not that far. Boy. How goes it, Lenny? All right, can't talk. Hey, all good out here? I think so, but well, I don't know. I thought I heard something. Might have been me. Uh, it's probably nothing. Okay. Stay alert. Any sign of trouble, you shoot first. Yeah. Plus, we usually got two people on guard duty, so. Hello, boys. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. See you, John. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. Yeah. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction. 
but Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. And all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. Yeah, they do. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Probably not, sure. not. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Well, we already got the horses thing Here going along. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? How y'all doing? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Sweet. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Well, one of the men is already on the back of the wagon, so he can shoot us if he wants to. This thing might just go speeding off through the front door, though. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> well it seems that's easy enough <laughs> wanna do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. All right. Here we go. It was an easy little turn of business. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Pretty good. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Probably because us and the O'Driscoll's been right. robbing him for months. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town. This the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Well, now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing, Jesse. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet even you can do that arthur oh, i have to uh, put this hat on <coughs> smoke this pipe bring your lip forward just a bit squint oh perfect yeah, well 
about you? Oh, shh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Oh I God! Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there. Don't get mad, huh? Oh, Hosea. I love you to death. It's funny as all hell. Well, Good. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that My stuff God. and follow me. <laughs> strangle her in a rage. Come on, man. My brother Fenton, don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come on, Fenton! Let's hand out the liquor. In we go. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your left. I'll have one, Fenton. Here we go. It's a sin. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Just keep them coming. <laughs> Mr. Crow won't be happy about this. Open another bottle. Oh, where's mine then? Don't be shy, boys. You're a fine man, Fenton. A fine man. Don't listen to your brother. Regular part. Drink up, drink! Uh, Moines Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. Oh, 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 no. Okay, holy shit. What they say it ain't a party till somebody does. We run the liquor around. Come on, get up here. Arr! This way, up the stairs. There's more coming. Arr! Got a hit. That'll do it. Help me. I'm coming. I the help. Damn it. Oh shit. Oh 
Oh shit. Oh. Which is why I usually like to have my shotgun on me. <laughs> Yeah, please do. Let this go, Over there! They got out the back! Got one! You pair of bastards! Oh, do you look? They're coming out of the alley! Why aren't you shooting them? Ah! We don't have to around here! Stay the hell out of here! Oh! Ah! Oh. 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 The bitch is dead! Look out on your right! There's ah. more to your right! Shit, I see him! Never to take up a career in what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. God damn it, Hosea. God, I love him to death. Too much. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. 
And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Well, all right. Now we got two different missions that we can uh, do, but we're going to do those next time, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time.